I thought I wanted to be an actuary. I passed the first two exams. I suffered through a three month internship. Some of my most popular videos are about actuarial science. Quick side note though, the issues in my racist internship from hell video were not actually related to the reasons I didn't pursue actuarial science. The issues I experienced during that internship are present in a lot of STEM fields and careers. That's just a video you should watch if you're thinking about any white male dominated industry. But the focus of today's video is more specific to the actuarial science industry and why it's not a great career option for anyone, in my opinion. The first several reasons I decided not to pursue an actuarial career are related to the insurance industry as a whole. For one, the insurance industry is very well established, so there's very little innovation happening, especially in comparison to other industries. You're not going to be making any groundbreaking discoveries or revolutionary changes if you try to pursue actuarial science today. This is kind of related to my next point. Insurance is mind-numbingly boring. And if you pursue actuarial science, you're going to be kind of pigeonholed into an insurance career. I used to think, I like math, I like statistics, I'm sure I'll find actuarial work interesting. Wrong! The industry you are in has such a big impact on how enjoyable you're going to find the work. I learned about this firsthand from a couple experiences. I had one internship at a bank where I had the opportunity to work with different clients in totally different industries. Then I also worked in economic consulting for a year where I worked with clients in roughly five different industries. And those experiences were really eye-opening for me. Pretty much every company needs math-minded people. If you enjoy math and statistics, please do not limit yourself to insurance. You can use those skills doing analytics at a sports company or a music company. Okay, next topic. Besides the fact that the insurance industry is super boring, it's also kind of evil. I don't think I truly realized this until I was paying for my own insurance. When you work at a multi-million dollar company whose goal is to suck people dry, it's kind of hard to stay motivated. When I was in college, I didn't really know how evil the insurance industry is. I knew it didn't have a great reputation, but I wanted to find out for myself if it was indeed as bad as people say it is. I figured if it is as bad as people say it is, then maybe I can change the industry from the inside. When I started to realize how many issues there were, it was kind of overwhelming and I didn't really see how I would be able to make a meaningful difference. I knew I would have just become resentful if I tried to pursue a long career in insurance. Another reason I decided not to pursue actuarial science was the money. I used to think that the more education you have, the more you'll get paid. And since I've never been interested in going to graduate school, I thought passing actuarial exams would be the next closest thing. Turns out, more education isn't necessarily going to increase your pay. I will say actuaries make a comfortable salary, but you can earn at least as much, if not more, in other industries where you're still using math and stats skills, you don't have to spend hundreds of hours outside of work studying, and you get to work on more interesting problems. This brings me to the next reason I decided not to pursue actuarial science, the exams. And this is probably not the reason that you're thinking it is. For a bit of background, to be an actuary, you have to pass a series of very difficult exams. Each exam takes a few hundred hours of studying to pass. I actually really enjoyed the exams. I love math and calculus, which is really important for the early exams. I especially love word problems, which also come up a lot in the early exams. However, the exams are not super related to the day-to-day -day work of an actuary. Based on my experience taking exams, working in the industry, and talking to more experienced people in the industry, the exams are really just a barrier to entry. There are so many people who have not passed the actuarial exams, but they've developed a ton of insurance industry knowledge through experience over time. So they are extremely valuable employees who are able to offer a lot, but those people will always be limited in their career growth because of this artificial imposed unnecessary barrier to entry. Every little concept you need to know to pass the exams is not necessarily directly related to your day-to-day -day work. If you want proof of this, I'll tell you how to get it. Pick a difficult question from a practice exam. Use a question from one of the first two actuarial exams, preferably a question with a lot of manual computational calculus. It shouldn't be difficult to find a question like this since most of the questions on the early exams, at least when I passed them, were very calculus heavy. Once you've picked a tough question, ask a fully credentialed actuary how to solve it. I guarantee you they are not gonna be able to answer it without thinking about it for more than six minutes. To pass exam P, you need to be able to spend six minutes or less on average per question. You have even less time for the questions on exam FM. The reason a fully credentialed actuary probably won't be able to answer it in six minutes 
is because they never need to manually compute an integral at work. That's just really inefficient because you can use a computer. In defense of the exams, I do believe that it's important to understand the foundational concepts in calculus and Bayesian probability, but it's not something you need to spend hundreds of hours studying for on top of your college coursework. I think it's unnecessary to require these really rigorous exams in addition to a bachelor's degree. And this is coming from someone who enjoys math. I don't want to spend hundreds of hours, which quickly turn into thousands of hours and then eventually years of my life, breaking through an arbitrary barrier, especially when I could be doing more interesting work involving math, earning similar if not more money, while enjoying more free time outside of work. Another reason I didn't love the idea of jumping into a career field that required me to pass very difficult exams was because I saw so many people in the industry who started down the path but hit a roadblock and one day stopped passing exams. I saw really smart people, some with master's degrees in math, who couldn't pass all the exams. That was terrifying to me. Failure itself is terrifying, but couple that with the fact that actuarial exit options are somewhat limited. The possibility of not passing was not worth it for me. I do hate saying that. I wish that I wasn't afraid and that I was more confident, but the fact is the failure rate in actuarial science is really high and it's really hard to predict whether or not you'll be able to succeed. There are people who pass their first six exams all on the first try, but are never able to pass the seventh exam. Those are all my reasons for not pursuing actuarial science. Now I work in data science. I'm still pretty new to this field, but so far I really enjoy the work I do. I work on really challenging and interesting problems. I feel like I'm constantly learning. I use machine learning and statistics pretty regularly. There are a lot of perks. If you're considering actuarial science, I would highly recommend looking into data science and other math fields instead because there's a lot more out there outside of insurance. If this was helpful, consider liking and subscribing to hear more about my data science journey. That's all for today. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.